Hello and welcome back to Colorado Basement Finishing TV. I'm glad you joined us today because we're done with the Dickman Basement Project and we're ready to show it to you. So let's go take a look. Alright, so coming down the stairs again here, we come down into this long wide open hallway, which I really like. I love again to come down into and to see open spaces in a basement. I hate to come down and run right into a wall. Sometimes you can't get around it, but if you can, it works so much better if you have a nice wide open or nice long um, room to come into just to help things uh, feel like they're, they're really open. Moving down the hallway, you can see down at the end we've got an art niche. Kind of provides a focal point for the, uh, for the person as they come down the basement. And we've also got an eyeball light here for this art niche to center on um, whatever artwork they put in there. And then right out the hallway, we have the family room. And the family room came out really nice. Uh, one of the drawbacks to this basement layout was just that there was a, a mono post right here in the middle of the family room, but nothing we could do about it. We had to figure a way to incorporate it. So what we did is we created a column and then two arches to either side of the column. Okay, And it definitely kind of separates your, your family room space from everything else, which is a good thing. And on the plus side, if there had to be a column there, it couldn't have been in a better spot because uh, it allows enough room to have like a couch or whatever up, up front for the TV and still provides enough room in the back to have a foosball table or an air hockey table or whatever it is that they decide to go with. All right, so looking at the family room, kind of the focal point is the entertainment center. Um, they did want to have a, a nice built-in entertainment center uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, first off, uh, the owner is a photographer. She does a lot of great, um, great pictures and, and uh, has a lot of nice artwork as well. So she wanted uh, something you know, that she could display some of those pictures in. So that's uh, uh, the areas to the sides of, uh, of the, the TV. And then um, he wanted to have a, a TV and, and uh, all his equipment and everything for his, uh, with surround sound for his movies down here. So uh, we kind of created uh, or kind of served both purposes there. Um, and I think it uh, came out nice. I didn't want furniture or, or built-in cabinets uh, for that entertainment center. So we just we framed it. We did drywall, added a couple architectural details uh, to give it some depth and some appeal. And I think it came out came out really nice. And then the coolest thing, in my opinion, about the uh, family room is the ceilings. So we were dealing with uh, beams and and also with um, um, trunk lines and, and things like that for heat. So. What we came up with is a, uh, two coffered ceilings, and they've got two different levels. So if you see this here, we got we go up one step, and then a second step uh, to get the uh, the entire coffered ceiling. If I step back here, you can maybe get a better better view of it. And it's matched up to either side. So I think it came out really good, actually. I'm really pleased with it. Moving back, uh, again, the priority in, uh, down here was, was living space for a growing family, so we've got three bedrooms. Here's uh, the first of them, and all the bedrooms are just great size, too, with a walk-in closet, and a nice uh, big L-shaped shelf and rod for, uh, for clothes and things. The only drawback to this bedroom was the uh, the trunk line that ran right down the side of it, um, and because it was so large, it really didn't allow us to do any type of tray ceiling or anything, um, you know, matching up with a soffit on the other sides. So um, we just ended up softening it here and then getting back to our maximum ceiling height for the rest of the room. You're not not ideal, but in a basement, sometimes you just have to work with the, the hand that was dealt to you. Mechanical room across here. And the game closet here. Lots of storage. So growing family, big family needs plenty of storage. Moving down to the other uh, other large bedroom. This one's almost the same size as the first one. And pretty much the same thing going on in here. Trunk line down the one side. So we did basically the same technique in here. And then walk-in closet. Again, just a great space for a, uh, for a grown family. 
We did need to put an access in here. Actually, there were, there were four accesses that we had to put in here. So we uh, just built a custom, custom uh, door with all of them. Uh, this access uh, covers their uh, security uh, panel and their uh, entertainment panel. And here's the last bedroom. This is really more of a flex room, but could be used as a bedroom because it does have a closet and an egress window. And the closet in here underneath the stairs, which isn't ideal, but could uh, easily be converted uh, for someone to actually have a closet. And then here's two more of our accesses. Had to do them to either side, so what we ended up doing was framing them equally so that you can do an arch between. And rather than just having some ugly accesses, we've tried to create a little architectural appeal and uh, just make it a nicer finish overall. And into the bathroom. So again, this is the only bathroom down here, and because it's going to be used by a couple kids, we uh, uh, or shared by a couple kids, I should say, uh, we got two sinks in here. And a nice big vanity space. We actually offset the sinks a little bit so that there was more countertop space for getting ready. Um, and the owner's going to have a custom mirror that's, uh, that they're doing, they're working on, so that's not going to be installed until later on. Shower came out really sharp. Used 12 by 12 tile and then just used a, a couple rows of 6 by 6 tile. Let's see if I can get an angle here for you guys to see it. Just tile on the two sides and then glass just run out that the square shower. We got a nice uh, uh, semi framed um, glass shower door and we removed the corner post right there. So you see more of the shower rather than seeing a, a metal corner post. And the toilet in the corner. And then the final touch we did down here for the homeowners was we replaced their existing handrail with a new handrail to match what they had upstairs. A lot of the times uh, builders, when they're, when they're building a house um, with an unfinished basement, they just uh, put whatever they have on hand uh, in terms of a handrail to get down there. Um, so what was here was just kind of a, a cheesy white round handrail. Um, and so just to kind of give the, the basement an overall better look, uh, especially as you come down uh, into the basement, um, they, we opted to go with a, a new handrail stained to match uh, the one upstairs. Thanks again for visiting us on Colorado Basement Finishing TV. Check back again soon for more exciting basement projects.